Hey guys, Weeb here. Welcome back to another video by Variety MMOs. So today we're going to be talking about a gold making guide that is specifically aimed at free to play players. So as a premium, there are a lot of ways to make money. However, as a free to play player, you are quite limited. So this guide will hopefully help you make money to buy all your favorite outfits and to catch up in the game when otherwise you may feel like you simply don't have enough gold to do anything. So the very first thing we're going to be talking about is gathering and handing in. So I do have a gathering video available on YouTube. So if you haven't watched that or do not know how to gather, I would strongly suggest going to watch that. However, if you know how to gather and you gather materials, what you can do is go to Franka's Cafe and hand in your materials that you have been gathering for a free 1.5 million master a week. So how this works is while you're gathering, you're going to get materials and you're going to be using those materials for rings and various other things to be making money. However, these materials, you'll see Yerxia, which will offer you five weekly quests, which can be done on all of your characters. So if you have three characters, you can get 500,000 each. If you have, say, nine characters, then you could be getting 4.5 million a week. So it really depends on how many character slots you actually have and your items are transferred through all your characters. So it is relatively easy to do this. So make sure you come here and check once a week and just make sure that your items have been handed in for your free Mester per week because it literally is free. And as a free to play player, getting that much Mester per nothing honestly goes a long way. So next up is your dailies and weeklies. So let's go back to the other ship and talk about it. So you have two sets of dailies. You have your daily missions that you can acquire from your daily NPC over at the counter, or you have your ARC missions. They are quite different. So first up, let's have a look at the ARC missions. So if you click start on your controller, or if you hit escape on your keyboard, you can come to here and click X on your controller, and you'll see your missions in here. So your daily missions, click A and then you'll see that I don't have any because I've already completed them and they are located over here. So your daily missions are something that you should be doing every day, but they're not to be confused with the other daily missions, which we'll be talking about in this video. So the daily order is what we're going to be talking about. So these three quests here will offer you some gold and XP. The best way to do this is to accept the top three that are always at the top. So these three here, and then go over to the NPC, click on main quest, recommended quest, and always click the top one. This will change, but it's changing based on the quests that are being offered. So always grab the top three and then always go to the top one and go to super hard. So aside from that, you also have other daily missions. So if we go down here and let's have a look, we have 60,000 Mesta, more 60,000 Mestas, 100,000 Mesta, 100,000, 100,000, 130, 130. So as you can see, quite a lot down here are actually worth quite a lot of Mesta. I personally don't do them all because I'm a little bit lazy. However, going through these missions and completing them can earn you a tremendous amount of Mesta compared to people who do not do them. I wouldn't recommend doing this on all three characters because you'd need three high level characters, which is a lot of effort. However, you should be at least doing these on one character daily because that will give you a lot of gold and it'll help you keep up with the premium players because a lot of them are lazy, like I am, and don't actually do all the daily officer orders here. A lot of people will just do the base three, but if you do the ones down here and get the extra master, it'll give you big gains as a free to play player. So next up is extreme quests. So let's go over to this NPC over here. So every 22 hours, you get given an extreme pass. So go over here, you'll see here my print pass is 21 hours and 14 minutes ago, meaning I got one 45 minutes ago. So these passes are used to go into a mission located over here. I believe it's in the sub quest. So in the extreme quest here, you can select which one you go and then you can select your floor that you're doing. Now, I personally wouldn't recommend doing this until two requirements are fulfilled. One, that you have a high level character and know what you're doing. And the other is that you learn 
which floors give you the most amount of Mesta and that you have a lot of boost. For example, if you use Fun to buy items in your scratch tickets, for example, located in here, go to prize list and go down here, located in here, I believe it's down the bottom, is item that gives you an extra 50% Mesta right here. So if you use these combined with your other boosters, you'll actually get much more Mesta. So you find the floor that you want to do, that you can do on your class, get a high level class, and you use all your passes plus all of your boosters combined. And this will earn you a couple hundred thousand Mesta per time that you go in for a couple of minutes of combat. So let's have a look at how many passes I actually have. So as you can see right here, I have 35 extreme passes. So let's say that you earn 300,000 Mesta per one. That's 9 million Mesta just sitting there. These don't degrade or anything, so you can just put them in your inventory and store them away until much later when you know what you're doing. But it is a good way just to accumulate small amounts of money. Okay, so as a free-to-play player, you are going to struggle with gold making. It's just, it's fact, you can't get around it. So I'll show you a couple of ways of earning some gold. So you can combine these two NPCs over here, which is Lavering, which will offer you basically kill monster quests. I have the ability to accept 40, but I believe you can only accept 20. So it makes this a little bit harder, but you get a little bit of mess and a little bit of XP from there. And you also have another client over here that will offer you similar quests in similar areas that'll also give you a better mess. It's not as great as what a free uh, premium person could achieve, but you know, it's a way to get a bit of extra gold. So you can see a bit more in here. So you're going to combine this with your dailies and to get a bit more gold. So let's go over here. Go down here. Let's look at these two other NPCs located over here. Down here, we have two NPCs that offer much of the same quest as the ones you were just doing. As you can see, these are a little bit better for Mesta, but honestly, the Mesta is not really great uh, when compared against your dailies or when compared against your gathering because they really do offer a lot of money. So you can combine these with your quest in the Franca's Cafe. This is the last NPC that's probably worth actually doing to acquire uh, gold. It is unfortunately much harder to acquire gold as free to play as I've mentioned a few times. It's really unfortunate. But if we go to Franca's Cafe, we're going to talk to the NPC in the middle and they'll offer us quest to send away. Uh, you send away your auxiliary, which will unlock from coffee at level 30. And more about that in another video, but you send away your NPC to grab materials and you come back and trade it into Franca here. These you'll notice that are 200 Mesta, but if you go down, there's ones that you can hand in basically unlimited times. So for example, it'd be like, can uh, collect 10 of these and you can go and collect 999 of them and just keep handing them in over and over again to obtain quite a bit of XP and quite a bit of gold, which will add up with your other things. So you should be earning at least a couple of mil per week using the free to play methods. But I'll be completely honest with you, even with these methods, you're not really going to earn anywhere near as much as a free to play player. <coughs> Okay, so there is a way as a free-to-play player can get some premium to make a large amount of money. So we're going to be talking about this in this video as well because I think it is quite important. So when you're leveling up, you're going to acquire items called boosters. More on that in the level 40 to 75 leveling guide. However, once you've done the leveling, you will have a bunch of boosters and you're going to use them in a specific order which is going to get you potentially passes to use the store so i'll explain this a little bit more okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the shopping district and we're going to go to the store down here so assuming that you followed the xp guide you should have boosters so let's go into here go to the booster exchange and you're going to buy one weapon just one of these weapons as you can see here i don't have any boosters right now because i just did it but you're gonna buy two weapons sorry for a hundred so you're now going to have two weapons in your inventory so now you're going to press start you're going to go down to here you're going to go to swap shop 
and you're going to trade those rarity 10 to 11 weapons for x cubes so now you have x cubes you can also get x cubes from other methods in the game but this is a way to acquire massive amounts of x cubes so now that you have the x cubes you're going to go to the x cube exchanger and you're going to go into here and you're going to buy fun tickets so fun tickets are basically tickets used to acquire fun and your fun is located over here so now you're going to go into your play scratch tickets go into your fun tickets scratch 10 select which one you do and you're going to scratch your tickets so when you do this there is a chance that you will get two items which are pretty nifty one of them being a shop pass for three days so you can sell things in the shop by op opening this up you're basically opening up all the premium options which we'll talk about in another video where we'll talk about money you can make with premium but this puts you on the same level as them so when you acquire all these items like armor with lots of slots and stuff you can use these passes to open up the store and sell them just like every other premium player so you can make the same level of money as they can so it's very important to remember that your boosters are used here into x cubes at the swap shop into here to get the fun the fun is tickets tickets into fun and then use that fun to get your shop passes i have about 20 shop passes after leveling all of my characters to level 75 so i have 60 days worth of shop and you don't have to use them all at once they're only three days so you can for example use a three-day shop pass to sell all your items and then a couple of weeks from now when you're ready to sell items again you can use another three-day pass so you pretty much have a shop for as long as you want it assuming that you follow the level 40 to 75 xp leveling guide which will get you your boosters so after watching this video you now know how to make the most amount of money you can on a free to play player but as i've mentioned it's just not as much as a premium player and you now know how to give yourself the advantage of the shop but they are quite rare so don't waste them anyway that's it for today's video thanks for watching guys peace